This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my modded version of the AIO Switch Up Data app. That's a lot to say. But for those of you that do not know what this is, it's an app that conveniently lets you update your CFW or download Switch firmwares. I am not the creator of this app. All I did was just modify it so that way when I upload my CFW packs onto my GitHub, you can use the AIO Switch Up Data app to uh, get my packs. So instead of having to get on the PC and update, um, take out your SD card and manually update the CFW packs, you can do it all from the switch, which I'm going to be showing later on. That being said, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. So before we get started, I would like to mention that this app is very convenient. However, for some unknown reason, it doesn't work for everybody. And I wish it did, but just like everything else, even on my previous videos, people have, you know, experienced issues and I try my best to be very detailed. And for some reason just doesn't work for everybody. So I just wanted to let you know that if you try this out and it doesn't work for you, your CFW or your switch is not broken. All you need to do is access your SD card and manually update your CFW pack again and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna be linking my previous video in the description just in case it happens, but we're gonna go through this together and hopefully nobody experiences these things. But just wanted to let you know before we continue. Now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is open up the SD card that we're using on the Switch. And I know I just said in the intro that it's convenient because we don't have to take out the SD card and put it on the PC. But this is a one-time thing because we need to add my modified version of the AIO Switch Up Data App onto the SD card. So it's a one-time thing. But once you have access to your SD card, we can now download this one zip file for today. And if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. One of them to say, click here to download the other side AIO Switch Up Data App dot zip. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the process of downloading because my videos get taken down. But it just takes you to my GitHub page. You just scroll down to the As of tab and click on that link that says the other side AO switch updater dot zip. Once you're done, you can have it moved to the desktop like I have done already. Now what we can do is extract this to the SD card. And I'm going to be using 7-zip to extract my files. I highly recommend it. It's free and I never have any issues with it. If you want to follow along with me with 7-zip, I'll leave a download link to that in the description as well. But with 7-zip, I'm going to right click on my zip file and open the archive. Here we have one switch folder. And all we need to do is just highlight this one switch folder and extract it to the root of the SD card. This empty space on the beginning of the SD card. So inside this switch folder has the AO switch updater. And if you look inside your switch folder, you should be able to see it also. I'm not going to go ahead and do it here because I don't want my videos to get taken down for any little reason. But after you extracted the SD card, you should be good to go. Now, all we need to do next is try it out on the switch. But before we do that, this is going to be using the Wi Fi uh, internet of your switch. So if you want to be extra cautious, you can add the atmosphere host files that block Nintendo and you'd be able to use the Wi-Fi with um, no issues if that's something that you're interested in. Um, or you could just use it regular and we're going to be updating the CFW and we're going to be updating the switch firmware as well using the AO switch update app. So just want to get that out there because it's going to be a little bit longer process on the app and I wanted to explain it before we try it. So that being said, let's go ahead and get back onto the switch. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so before I try my modified AIO switch updater app, I just wanted to show y'all that I'm on a lower switch firmware and a lower CFW. So if I go into my system settings, go down to system, you can see I'm the current version 20.0.1 switch firmware and atmosphere 1.9.0. And after we're done using the AIO switch updater app, we're going to be on the latest switch version, which is right now 20.1.1 and the latest atmosphere 1.9.1. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of before and I'm going to be showing the after and 
that's pretty much it. We should be good to go. I also wanted to mention that I'm not too sure, but I believe this only works for firmwares that are low as 18.x.x. .x. Maybe 17, but for sure, I'm pretty sure 16.x.x .x does not work with the AO Switch of Data App or for this version that I'm using. I don't know why, but it worked for me and for some people it doesn't. So just giving you a little bit of heads up in case it doesn't work for you. You can still follow my uh, previous video on doing this manually. So another thing that I would like to mention is that I like to use my modified AO switch of data app with the HB menu that is without applet mode. So if you've ever been into the HB menu, just in regular album, you'll see the top right corner of your screen say applet mode. That's because it's not using the full, you know, power of the switch. And if you have um, access to HB menu without applet mode, then you will have, you know, less issues. So you can use either, either a forwarder, which I have my version here. If you're interested, you can leave a comment down below on that, or you can go into the title override on one of your installed titled titles that you have. And title override, you just hover over any installed title and hold the right shoulder button, keep holding it and enter your game, your title while you're holding down the button and it'll access the HP menu from there without Apple mode. So, I'm going to be using my forwarder and you also need to make sure that you do have internet access already. I do have my Wi-Fi connected and once you have your Wi-Fi connected or internet access first, then you can go into the updater app because if you don't have a good connection, it will not show up any of the updates. So once you're inside this app, you can see that I didn't change anything. If you've ever used it before, Credit is still due. If you look in the middle of the screen, credit is still due to the dev that made this. I just modified it to look for my files. So once you go into update atmosphere, you would be able to see my the other side AMS 1.9.1. And bootloaders have it the same way. I just forgot to put the updated version of uh, text, but it is the updated version of Hecate 6.3.1. And for this modified version, you're only going to have access to update atmosphere, update bootloader, and download firmwares. The download cheats may not work because I did not do any updates with it. You can still try it if you like, but it will not work as well. If it does tell you in the bottom of the screen where it says there's a new update available, it will not work either because my modified version does not do any updates. I'm not doing any updates unless I see that there's some reason that I need to do an update. Then I'll remake this app and I'll do an update myself. But if you do see that bottom message right here where you see it, that there's a new update available, you do, there's no update. You shouldn't have to. As long as you're able to see the newest version of uh, AMS, then you should be good to go. So I'll stop rambling there. And the next thing we need to do is, uh, the first thing we have to do before we update the firmware, right here I have 20.1.1. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and update my atmosphere. Okay, so we can go ahead and start this process by updating our CFW first. We're going to go into update atmosphere, click on the other side, AMS 1.9.1.zip. Go ahead and click on continue to start the downloading process. After that, it's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite existing INI config files? Go ahead and click on no. And here it says, would you like to delete all custom sys modules, startup flags that will turn off all your sys modules and prevent crashes? Here you're going to want to click on yes. There we go. Take off my face from here. Okay, now it's extracting. And after you're done extracting, it says, do you want to also download Hecate, which right there says downloading Hecate 6.3.1. Go ahead and click on yes. Here it says, do you want to overwrite the existing INI config files? I believe you do want to do that here. Yes. After you're done, it's gonna say the switch will now reboot. And if my pack is successful, it should boot you back into Hecate. So let's check it out. All right, so here we go. After I clicked on reboot, it went back into Hecate. You should now see the Hecate 6.3.1 on top. 
And all you need to do next is go into your launch options uh, like you would normally do after you inject into your uh, back into the switch and go into CFW. Here, I've just briefly explained like on my previous video, the first option is for OFW that has no CFW on it. The first and the second is using CFW with Fusey.bin. And the last two are using the new uh, updated line text from Hecate with package three. So you have a uh, Fusey bin with EMUMC and then you have a package three EMUMC, whichever one you want to try and use, that's up to you. If you don't know which one to use, you can just go ahead and try with Fusey bin first. And if it doesn't work for you for some reason, you can try the other two. They both work the same. I just added all of the options because for some reason, one works for some, one works for the other and vice versa. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter it. Should boot, in, should boot with no issues. All right, so if you're able to boot back into your switch with no issues, then you should be good to go and also updated with your CFW. But we can also check that in the system settings. Scroll all the way down to system and we should see the same version that I'm on with switch firmware 20.0.1. But this time now we're updated with atmosphere 1.9.1. And I have an S because I'm using my CFW with SysNAN. If you have an E, you're using yours with EMU MMC. Now what we need to do is update the switch firmware. We can do the same thing with the AIO switch updater app. Make sure you have internet connection. Go into your HB menu and then go back into the AIO switch updater app, my modified version, and go into download firmwares. And here I, I dumped my personal version of 20.1.1. I've already tried it, I haven't had any issues. And once you click on it, you can click on continue. It's going to start downloading and then it's going to extract it onto your SD card. After that, we can have it uh, installed with Daybreak. Okay, so once it's done extracting, it's going to ask you if you want to launch Daybreak. Just go ahead and click on no because it always crashes every time I do that. So go ahead and click on no. It's okay. Once you're done here, you can just go ahead and click on home and get out of the HP menu and then go right back into it. Once you do that, you're going to want to locate the Daybreak app. Click on that. And once you're in here, you're going to want to click on install the highlighted part or the purple part is the option to choose. So install. Once you're in here, you're going to want to look for the firmware that we want to install. So it should have extracted a, a folder on your SD card and it looks like it's here on the root. And here we have 20.1.1. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to check real quick to see if it's good enough to install. And it says the update is valid, which it should be. And you're going to want to click on continue. You're going to want to click on preserve settings. And then you also want to click on install FAT32 plus XFAT. It says ready to begin the update. Click on continue. Yes. Okay, so after the update is done, it's going to go ahead and do another reboot. And it should boot you back into Hecate because that's the way I have my CFW packs. It always boots back into Hecate even if you're an OG switch, V2, or a Marigo. So once it's done, you can go ahead and click on reboot. Okay, so after you click on reboot from Daybreak, you should get back into Hecate. All you need to do next is go back into your CFW and let's check out the system settings there. Okay, so now that we're back from the final reboot on the switch, we can check to see if we are updated with CFW and switch firmware. Go back into system settings, scroll all the way down to system, and you can see that I'm on the current version 20.1.1 now. And AMS 1.9.1, both of these being the latest version of the time of this video. So we have been fully updated and all we need to do was just use Wi-Fi and the AIO switch updater app. So I hope you found this convenient. The last thing that I always like to check is to see if it actually works. And my best thing is if you have anything that you have installed working, if it works for you, I hope it does. But my best way to, te to test anything without messing up any of my titles is to test on a forwarder. So again, if you're interested on my HB menu, you can uh, use it to test it out for yourself. But if I'm able to get into here with no issues, then the CFW is working just fine. So just wanted to show you all that. And I hope this video was helpful. 
if you uh, run into any issues of course you can leave a comment down below and i will try and help you out as best as i can if anything crashes on you if you have any issues i know um somebody that a uh, messaging me on um youtube right now is, uh, always uses the updater app never has any issues and then finally has an issue now we're trying to solve it we'll go with uh pikmin there you go so hopefully you are able to get it sorted out pikmin and um thanks for using the app uh, it worked for me and i hope it works for everybody else but of course let me know if it doesn't let me know if it does as well I really appreciate the feedback and uh, those of you that support this channel and use um, my directed guides and my files. So thank you again. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.